In this video, we're going to talk about critical path feature in big picture. Critical path may seem like very, very easy feature, but surprisingly often our customer says that, hey, my critical path is not working or why is it working like that? So let's cover how critical path is calculated in big picture and what you need to look out for. This video is part of our effort to provide the best possible training around Jira, Confluence and whole Atlassian ecosystem. If you would like to support us, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you have any questions and remember that you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like trainings, consultations or implementation. Okay, so let's jump into the tool. So I am in one of my boxes called clone project and I will enable critical path. So you will see that some of the tasks now are highlighted red. And this is what we would expect from critical path, right? Uh, very often though, this is not what you'll see after you create the plan for your project. Why? So the way or the logic that big picture calculates critical path is very specific. And because of that, you may see some things that you wouldn't expect. So let's consider this. We have, these are all the pro tasks that are within my project. And critical path is always calculated for a given box, right? So it will be calculated for this clone project. The same tasks can be on critical path or also in all other boxes if the, the scope is shared to some degree. But anyway, these tasks, these are all the tasks that we have within the scope of my box. And the last task currently that is planned in my bo box is this tests task. So basically end date of this task is the last thing that will be done within this project, within this box. There is nothing behind that. This is why this task is marked as being on critical path. Now, all the tasks that have dependency with this one can be marked also as being on, crit on critical path, but do not have to be when they are marked. They are marked as being on critical path if delaying their delivery by even single day will move the last task on the timeline. So you can see that if I make this task end earlier, this one is moved. This is why basically this is also on critical path. If I delay this task, both of these will be moved. That's why this one is also on critical path. Makes sense so far, right? Delay in the task causes delay in the project. This is why the task is on critical path. But now there are certain use cases that happen very, very often and that might seem like critical path is not really working. So there are two that I would like to mention now. First, let's take a look at this dependency. So this dependency is an ASAP mode. If I deselect the ASAP mode, this task is still on critical path, but now I will create the gap between those two tasks. So I will just move the last one and suddenly all the, all the three previous tasks are no longer on critical path. Why? Well, because now we can still have some delay over here without uh, uh, moving the end date of the last task on the line. Like there is some buffer between the tasks. So this one is, these three are no longer on critical path. And suddenly it looks kind of like critical path is not working because we have multiple tasks with nice dependencies between each other. And yet only one task is marked as being on critical path. Uh, but it really makes sense because this task can be still delayed without delaying the last one. Okay, uh, this is if we disable ASAP mode. Uh, if we have some lag time, the task will still be on critical path. So despite the fact there is two days of gap between those tasks, uh, the, the, the previous tasks are still marked as being on critical path. 
And that is because this two day delay, this two day lag time is always maintained. So there is no, no buffer time between those two tasks. So this was the first use case when it might seem like it is not working, like the critical path is not working. Second use case is if we have some one task that is really finished later than everything else, right? So if I move this one stabilization that it ends later than tests, yeah, only stabilization will be on critical path or actually stabilization and the parent task. So in this case, phase one, you can see that phase is also on critical path because their end dates are the same but nothing else really. So very often I see situation where something like that happens, that we have two or three tasks uh, that are at the end, but they are not linked to anything else and only those two tasks are on critical path. And yeah, basically very often I hear because of that, that critical path is not really working. It is, it is just very specific logic that big picture is applying and this logic makes sense. This is what critical path should be all about. Uh, but yeah, it is not always what the customers expect. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope that you had, if you had any problems with critical path, it helped you address it. Uh, if you have any further questions about this feature, although simple one, it still can be challenging in some setups. For example, what if you want to have single box containing all your projects and have critical path for each of the projects. This can be a bit tricky, but if you have anything, uh, let us know. I'm sure we will be able to help. And for now, thanks for watching this one and see you in the next video.